Hello and welcome to my trust junction term do and in today's video it's a follow up video from the problem I had with uh, one of these 121 and 122 units and uh, I just want to do a quick video on Dapol's customer service so uh, grab yourself a drink and uh, well just go over to the layer and I'll just show you m the models and uh, what I did to resolve the issue Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that responded to the video about these units uh, with your suggestions and that. It's really much appreciated. And uh, there's one comment saying about uh, contacting Dapol, emailing them, and uh, they'll fix the issue for you. Now, the actual problem that was with them is the actual drive shafts, they uh, they split on the ends and then you lose traction. So, uh, and they work against each other. If one goes, it's working against the other one. So uh, they've replaced all the uh, drive shafts. Now, I have been told by one of the model shops that this will happen to all of these models. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But uh, anyhow, uh, I decided to contact Dapol and uh, I'll just show you a clip with the trains running now and then uh, I'll uh, explain how I sent them back and got them repaired. Okay, as you can see that uh, from that video, they're running fine now. Uh, if you watched my last video about these, uh, obviously it was this blue and gray one that I had the issue with. And uh, what had happened, because I had an issue with that and with what people were saying, I decided to test the others. And uh, bear in mind I've test run these before. Uh, as I put them on the track, they failed even more miserably than the uh the blue and gray one i mean the blue and gray one moved a little bit whereas the other three didn't move at all the lights come on they just made a noise and uh that was it so anyhow i uh emailed dapol uh via their website uh they responded i think it was on the wednesday and they responded on the thursday and attached a uh well, first of all, sorry, they uh, passed it all on to uh, their technical department. Then their technical department sent out uh, an attachment, which was a form to fill in about what the problem is with the model, where you purchased it from, when you purchased it, and so on and so forth. And uh, a free post address. Now, uh, I sent these off on Friday night and it's a bank holiday weekend, I had an email to say on the Wednesday they'd been received. On the Thursday, they contacted me to say that they're all been repaired and can I just confirm my address? And Friday morning, they're all there, delivered, uh, all boxed up nicely and all in working order. So it's fantastic customer service. Now, uh, I bought these from various places and uh, from rails, from Hattons, and uh, it does say about uh, warranty, uh, to be covered under the warranty. Well, I know this one would, would definitely be covered because I bought this from rails uh, last year when they had a sale on, but the others, I can't find the receipts, but uh, fair play to them. They still repaired them free of charge. So, uh, that is one of the best customer services I've uh, ever had, been involved with. I mean, I've sent stuff to Hornby, I've had to pay to send it back. Uh, a curious scale, I can't remember if I had to pay, but I did wait 
a tremendous long time. I think it was about six weeks for the item to come back repaired. So uh, I'd like to big thumbs up to uh, everyone in church for uh, sorting out my problem and returning them really fast. So uh, thumbs up to uh, Dapol and their fantastic customer service. Okay, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it informative. And uh, likewise, if you've uh, learnt anything from it, then yes, you can repair them. Jenny Kirk's done a video. Check it out. Or you could send them back to Dapol. Just contact them and see if they'll have them back and repair them for you, free of charge. Uh, if uh, anyone else out there you feel that would need to see this video, then please... Uh, share it so they can get the knowledge of what's required uh, on sorting the issues out and uh, if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified on future videos and uh, if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and uh, please add your comments to the bottom it was very helpful sorting this issue out so uh, like I say a big thank you to everyone and uh, I'll see you again at the next video